Hey guys, it's Retro Gaming now, and I'm back with playing Kerbal Space Program. Um, in the last episode, we finally landed on Eve. It's not able to get the, our Kerbal off of Eve, but we were able to land. And in the previous episode before that, I attempted to land on Duna and failed. So I still have that business to finish up. But I think before that, I'm going to try doing something different for a while. I think I want to make a space station. So a space station is essentially a spacecraft that flies up and doesn't move. And you can use it to like refuel and stuff, like you can send other ships up to dock and then refuel and stuff like that. But, you know, I've never made a space station before. I don't know how it works. Or anything. So, I'm just going to go ahead and try it out. Um, for propulsion, I'm going to try and use Goliath rockets, but I might have to adjust that. <coughs> so... I think I want to do this one because this holds three, three Kerbals. So that'll be our base. One of the things about Space Station is we're going to use a lot of these docking ports. And what docking ports allow us to do is connect parts together. So we can dock a ship to the Space Station and refuel it or something. Or, yeah, that's the thing we can do with it. So we have storage containers. These hold four crews, so I think I want to put a couple of these on. Um, I'm not sure how much mass, like how big this is going to be. I think what I'm going to do is have two stages if I can. So, not two stages, or like, so I'll have the central and then two on the side. And the two on the side we're going to have to break off and then rotate and then clamp on using our Clampatron docking ports. And I've never done this before, so we're really going to see how this goes. So... We'll have space for 11 kerbals. I think that'll be good. Um, what more do we want on here? First of all, we're definitely going to need... Need, uh... Lots of RCS on this, and I think I'm going to put that on once we get it all set up exactly how it's going to look. In science, I mean, I might as well put some of this stuff on. Self-contained laboratory. I've never really... There's science is something that doesn't really exist in mobile processing land. Something that doesn't really exist in, um... I mean, exists. It's something that you don't really need to do in, in uh, sandbox mode, because I'm in sandbox mode right now. So I think I'll go ahead and take one of these off and then maybe put our science lab on, since this is where we're going to be. So you can see they can climb up, climb up in here if they want. Okay, so starting off, okay, I forgot to mention, we probably won't actually be flying in this episode a lot. I'm just going to be trying to put this thing together. So we're going to do some clamping docking ports. That's too big. Probably want to clamp a Tron. Junior, that's too small. Clamp a Tron. There we go. Does it go straight on? Can it go on the bottom? I don't know how I centralize it. Maybe I'll... I wonder if they come out of here. I'm actually going to launch this real quick. We'll call it... Space... We'll call it Station 1, just for now. I'll probably change the name later. I just want to see where the kernels come out of this command pod, because I haven't used this one recently, I don't think. I've generally done only one-person command modules. So I think for this space station, I'm going to try and put it in Kerbin orbit. So just around the planet, Kerbin. And then maybe later, I'll try and do more. I'm not sure how much, like, how far, or how much weight our fuel for the Goli standard Goliath rocket will get us. Okay, so they come out there. That'll be fine. So we want to rotate this whole section 90 degrees. Uh, 180 degrees. Oh, I don't want to go space center. Shoot. Yeah, so this episode's just going to be a lot of building. And you might not like it watching that, or you might really enjoy it, so... It doesn't really matter to me. Okay, so this entire section... Oops, not that rotation. There we go. 
this is where it needs to be. So he'll climb out there and should be able to just go right there. Hopefully. Yeah, okay. So, there's that. So I do want to put a docking port up top, even though I probably won't need that. I want to have a lot of docking ports so I can always add on to the space station later. Grabbing unit, I think we don't need that. We just need a docking port. Shield the docking port. At least twice as much. We'll just go ahead and put this on. There we go. Clampotron standard is what we'll be using mostly for this. And I'm not sure how much more we need here. Maybe you just, uh... One of these. Or some of these hanging down or going down. Well, it's way too small. Hmm. Okay, so, yeah. I know what I'm going to do. This is going to go... I wonder if I could just use a fuselage. That'll probably work better, actually. So these are going to go down ways. I probably should put an adapter on here. No, that's the wrong way. Um, <laughs> this one? Ooh. I feel like I've struggled with this before. Yeah, this is what we want. Okay, so this will go down to this. And the little rocket will be attached. Here. So what we're gonna do is put a clamping port, clamping or docking port on either side of this. So we're gonna have two large ones here, like medium-sized ones, and then we're gonna put a couple there. So utility lampotron. I'm gonna turn symmetry on for this. Go. That looks good. So, so what we're going to try and do is attach our other sections right there. And now we're going to design the other sections. So these are going to be attached using. Ah, you know what I forgot? I forgot RCS fuel. So I'm going to put some of that on. RCS fuel tank. There we go. That should be enough. This may be a little bit heavy. I might want to, or a little bit unstable, actually. But we'll see if it works. I don't think I need fuel tanks for all of it. All of this. So I'm gonna put a couple of decouplers. Maybe down here is where they should go, so I won't interfere with the ladders at all. And then from there, I'm gonna build my two sides that are come out. For these, I'm probably just going to put science and stuff on it. Like all of these. Let's just control. Just put science on it. So I need structural. This one is the one I've been using. Oh, this is too close to it. No, it shouldn't be. Maybe it is, though. Alright, so we're going to expand this out a little bit. I've had to do this before, but so I'll hook that up there, then I'll put my structural uh, decouplers down. I'm really just guessing at how well this is gonna work, so <laughs> don't uh, if it doesn't work, I take full responsibility. Um, structural, so we're going to go back to... Body. No, this is aerodynamic. Back to these. So, we'll sort of just build a base or something, like a area for us to build off of. So I'm thinking that should probably be good. So these are going to detach and cup, de or couple right there. So I'm going to put a couple more docking ports on. Why can't I centralize these? If I turn this off. Okay, I mean, 
that's okay. As long as it's pretty close. It's not very close, actually. There we go. That should be good. And of course, I will put the same on the bottom. Or if these are supposed to be rotated. No. Same on the bottom, so I can always expand it later. Real quick, in here we need to put some RCS fuel. That's too small. Is there like a... There we go. Hopefully we won't need more than that. Uh, I can go ahead and put two on just to be safe. I still need to put all the RCS thrusters on eventually. And f also, also finally in here we need to have a control. One of these to control it actually. For when because what we're going to have to do is detach detach these and something's going to have to be controlling it when we detach these to move them around and hook onto the docking ports there so we're going to have to have these to control it. And that should be good. So now we're going to first I'm going to put uh, some solar panels on. the Giganter XL, so these are just going to rotate 90 degrees, so this shouldn't collide with anything. We'll put two of them on. We may not need both of them. Whoops, I'm not even close. Whoops. Actually, I'm going to put them right in the middle. There we go, so if we extend these, I'll just go ahead and launch it and show you. Alright, so you can see, it's hopefully this might fall over, actually. But if we uh, extend panels, we get some solar panel, some quite large solar panel. But uh, this will only work when we're in the air, so revert flight back to vehicle simply. Because these are very fragile, so they're not going to be extended while we're flying up. I'm not sure if I want to put any nuclear energy generators on or not. Okay, so these are going to separate, rotate, and attach. Also, I'm going to put a couple of these on this here. When they're attached, the power should transfer through, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it to be safe. Change the symmetry, there we go. Also, I'm going to change the flag. Retro gaming now. Whoops. Looks pretty sick. And that's going to interview, won't it? Um, we'll just put them over here, right on the windows. They're not going to be. These are going to be out of the way by the time we extend these. So if we extend these, none of these should collide with each other. So control. Obviously, we want to put mech jab on. So I'm going to go ahead and put mech jab on all of these components. Mechjib is zero mass, so Mechjib takes up no space. And I think I'm going to put SAS actually on this, maybe. I forget which one of these I want to use. I'll just do this one. Alright, so also. This whole section needs SAS. I, some of my rockets haven't had SAS, but for this, I'm going to go and put it on. So these are going to extend out. This will unhook and go there. And what more? So we need to load these up with something. Rechargeable batteries. These are something I want on these, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and put. Okay, so actually, this is where it's going to split up. 
So we turn symmetry off here. I'm gonna do this side is gonna be our sort of power storage. And hopefully this uneven distribution won't be an issue. It's very, very tiny and maybe MechJeb can fix it. But if it does become an issue, we can always change it later. Um, so I'll put some batteries on the side, maybe I'll put two more on. They really don't weigh that much. Yeah, let's put more on. I mean, we never know how much energy we'll need. Okay, so... We'll also put another solar... Eh, no, actually. So, this should be good, actually, for this side, for now, at least. This side we want to put our science stuff on, you know? Even though we haven't needed, don't actually technically need it. Mr. Goo, not going to need this. This only works if we're landing somewhere. Mobile processing lab, where do you got one of these? Science Junior, that's also not useful. Communication antenna. Just go ahead and put some of the one of these on. Even though we probably don't even need it for what we're doing. There's another communication seismic accelerometer. This can also go down here. Barometer. Can go right there. Gravitive. Oops, excuse me. Gravity detector. Can go there. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny. Advanced device for capturing and measuring the elusive negative gravioli particle, used for determining if the precise strength of gravitational fields. Warranty void if used to detect positive gravioli particles. And the other one is this. Barometer, a device for measuring local atmospheric pressure. Warranty void if exposed to air. Double C seismic accelerometer, the device which contains an extremely small sensitive acceleration sensor which when properly settled, on a, properly settled on a firm surface will detect and record accurate seismic activity data. The accelerometer can and still will function while flying, so double C can be used to measure accelerations during flight. Warranty void if shaken or exposed to vacuum. <laughs> I just love these. Alright. So we got those. We shouldn't need more than one of those. Uh, temperature detector right there. Now, is there anything else we'll need? Obviously, we still are going to need RCS. Let's give him a chair so they can come out here and sit. I don't see why not. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to ex add more clamping docking ports, just a couple more. So these are going to rotate straight. We're going to do top and bottom. Utility electron docking ports. Symmetry on. And one on the back. I wonder if we could do a small, a couple of small ones, like one there. Really, our science module should be a small one now that I think about it. Nah, that's okay, we can fix it if it doesn't fly. We've got a lot of weight here. I might have to do multiple rockets, but we'll see if I can do single stage. And so, structural. More of these pylon sort of things here for while we're in flight. I don't want this thing falling apart because it's a bit shaky as is. Hopefully, that'll be enough. We will see. Maybe I should go. Yeah, that'll probably be fine. <laughs> Maybe. You know how these, that'll probably be fine, usually go. Okay, a couple other things. I want to put lights on it, just realized. Because we don't know, it could be too dark wherever we're... Got this thing, so Mark 1 is generally the best. So we could put, I'm going to aim them down by the docking ports. So there, so you can see down to the docking ports. And we'll put a couple on the bottom. Facing the other way. Um, actually, I want to rotate with Q. There we 
There we go. Hopefully that'll be good enough. Parachutes we should not need. Empty fuel tank is another thing. Do I want to have a fuel tank on it? I'm sort of thinking that's going to be something I'm going to launch up later in the future. And thus won't need now. So now control. RCS ports. So, I'm not sure the most efficient way to do this because like I said, I don't really use RCS that often. I'm just going to sort of put them on, like, the axes. What's really most important is that these... These, um... Things out here are properly RCS'd up. Hopefully that'll be good. I said I'm not too sure. So we got some fuel here. Getting a little bit of a slowdown. Maybe I get too many parts? No, it looks like it's just temporary. Alright, so looks like we got the docking ports and stuff on. Go ahead and save it. So I'm gonna bring this up and I'm gonna try hooking up to a Goliath 2. So I'm gonna go ahead and load Goliath 2. What I'm going to do is make a sub-assembly. So sub-assemblies are things you can make that you can use again and again. So remove all of this. So you see I've got two types of Goliaths here. I can move this to our sub-assembly and call it Goliath 2 rockets. Oops, got a caps lock on. So Standard rockets for planet B. All right. So now I can just load, go back and load our station one. Boring name, I know. I need to think of a better one. Not as boring as Space. My first rockets I called Space. Station 1. We lift this up, and then with the sub assemblies, I can just bring Goliath 2 rockets in. Just like that. But first, I'm going to need to expand this out, so I'm going to go to. Structural, I need the Rockamex brand adapter. There we go. Let's see if this can even get off the ground. I am not sure that it will, or that it's stable for that matter. If this doesn't work, I can always split it up into multiple rockets, as I've talked about before. Alright, seems to be holding up pretty well. Um, let's say, do we try MechJet? Sent guidance? We're going to try and go to 100 kilometers. That seems to be a good orbit. I don't know if this is going to work. These should all be in order. And these, all these up here we will deal with manually. Oh, we got thrust. Actually, this is not bad at all. We might be able to do it. Seeing as we're only trying to get to orbit, really or only orbit is our goal. We don't have to actually go to another planet. We should be good. 
looks like we might be actually assuming this doesn't fall apart. Of course, I might I might destroy it trying to get the RCS to work. What's it look like in here? We're going to space. First time we're sending multiple people into space. So we've got room for 11 peak kernels total, I believe is what it was. So I should be able to take them out and shift them around. And I can fly other space ships up and drop them in here. And I can also expand this, which is sort of the point of all this, is expansion, being able to expand the space station. So if it terminal velocity, which uh, for this, where we are, is not bad at all. So we're actually fairly similar because we did get, we removed some weight. And actually, I think we gained weight in the long We definitely gained weight. But we changed the entire upper section of the way it looks. I just hope this works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm really worried about docking. This is the first time I've ever actually done docking in Carbon Space Program. A lot of the other things I've done before, but this is live. I've never, I've never done docking or a space station ever. So this should be a ton of fun. Let's see if it works. So it does appear like we are burning more fuel for sure. out of the atmosphere. I mean, part of the thing I was worried about was this thing falling apart in the atmosphere. Because that certainly can happen. I've had that happen before. So far, we actually seem pretty good. Kerr Moore and Matt King and Newton are doing pretty well. If a bit scared. <laughs> I just love these guys. I mean, this game has just such a, such a funny sense of humor. I love it. Yeah, we're going to have more than enough fuel. So much excess fuel. You no. Know, maybe I should have made it so we can dock these things on once we're finished and fuel those up. Unless we've got a lot of fuel there. I mean, I can always relaunch the space station that I know we should be able to get into orbit. Of course, we're not in orbit yet, so we'll see how this goes. 43, we're getting closer. So gravity hinge right at 69. Excuse me, atmosphere ends. I am seeing mix those up a lot. And uh, 100 kilometers is generally good parking orbit. I do later if I missed a launch window and just have to fast forward, but if you nail the launch window, 100 is about where you want to be. Bounces. That's comforting. <laughs> Alright, so it's gonna circularize there. <laughs> if this just falls apart, that's gonna be kind of funny. Hopefully, not though. RCS isn't doing anything because it doesn't like to use SAS. 
likes to do it all by itself, which is probably a good thing. <laughs> and we are time warping. Line up for the maneuver. One thing about clampatrons is they're not, at least from what I've heard, they're not super stable. Like they can't fall apart a little bit. Like it's just magnetically, mostly magnetically held. I believe, actually. I'm not sure. I know they know they are magnetized, so we'll aim towards it. But yeah, we're gonna have so much fuel left. I wonder if I could actually shoot for the moon, make a moon, like a base or docking. Excuse me, space station on the moon. We'll see. I might want. I think I'll just start with Kerbal. I can always reuse the design later if I have to. Excuse me, Kerbin. Kerbal. Kerbal is the sun. Kerbin is the planet. Kerbal is the species. So we need 600 meters of delta V. That will come fairly easily. We will have to drop a tank. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it now, actually, just to make it a little more stable. And yeah, we are shifting around a little bit up here. I think our RCS is up there. Actually, I'm not sure we have RCS on this thing. Excuse me, SAS. I'm not even using RCS. Or SAS for that matter, actually. So the question is do I want to drop these since these wheels still have fuel in them? That's good. We can cut that there. Turn on our SAS. I'm just to even out a little bit on um, time warp just to touch till it slows down. There we go. Okay. Shoot. I'm gonna leave these on. I don't see why not. So, first of all, let's test out our lights. Lights. Oh, there we go. Look at that. So, lights work. Um, okay. So first off, I want to control from one of these. So right click, control from heal. I just wanted to focus my view on it. Can I do that? No, okay. So first thing I'm going to do is decouple. Decouple. Okay. Turn on RCS. Where's my RCS controls? I need to look those up real quick. No, control from here. Shoot. I need control from this one. This is an issue. RCS is working for this, but not this. Do that. <laughs> I may have made a mistake here. Should I revert? Well, I should have quick saved is what I should have done. We are losing that module. Okay, that's not working. Let's just try this one and see if we can get it to work. So, am I controlling from here? Okay, so it looks like I am. So now I'm going to try decouple. And as soon as I decouple, it looks like I can no longer control it. Like you can see, well, since it's activated, Just 
try one of these. RCS Balancer. I don't really know what this does. I need to see what the RCS controls are. Give me a second, I'm gonna look these up really quick. Okay, so it's H, J, K, and oops, and L looks like H. Well, no matter what, it's not working. So I'm gonna go and revert flight to vehicle assembly. And um Something is not working with these. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and look it up. Why not? I think it's, I want to fig figure out what the issue is. So I will be back in just a moment. Well, after searching online, I cannot seem to find what I'm doing wrong. So I'm gonna try doing this in multiple launches. Oops. Shoot. Uh, get back on there. Um, actually, we're at reload station one. I think I messed it up. Actually, to start out, I'm going to see if I can start with them already connected. Like out wide, see if that'll work. Actually, I'm just gonna try something again. Why can't I just shift control to here? These guys should go away, right? Launch it still launches these, which is a problem. So if I control from here, see I can't is the problem now. Call this RCS, let's turn RCS on. It doesn't do that. Well, oops, I wanted to revert flight, that's okay. Okay, so this mission is actually, this episode's actually gone on long enough, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it here, and I will see if I can do some more research and figure out what exactly I'm doing wrong for the next episode. So, this has been Retro Gaming Now, slowly starting to construct the space station. As always, if you enjoy, rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Alright, thank you guys.